Yeah, real. Ooh, man. Now you have to get up. Yeah, yeah. Out of here. So last week the boys went to Louisville without me. Nobody's fault. These things happen. They had a great week. Evan qualified and lost to the eventual champion, Johannes Monday, and they made a run to the doubles final. Shout out to the NYCC boys for having a great first event and a big thank you to Scott and Luke Colson from the Payers and Players podcast for hosting the boys in Louisville this week. It goes a long way and is much appreciated. The boys will be meeting me later today in Winston-Salem for the M15 at Wake Forest. In my last outing, I was able to pick up six wins and the title at the Boca Raton BTT 25K. It seems like we're all getting back on the right track. Can Evan and I keep stacking wins on the single squad? And can the boys go one step further in doubles? Let's find out. 10.30 a.m. on Sunday. I just got to the Wake Forest University. My first flight was at 5.30 this morning. I got in almost around 10. Early day, but I played tomorrow, so I had to get in and get some time on the court here. An hour into my practice today, I landed on a serve and I felt my calf pop. I'm not sure what that means for the rest of the week. Maybe I can play, maybe I can't. Gonna see the physio and figure it out. It's like looking this way too. <laughs> He's like, yeah, looking at you. He's <laughs> looking in this direction. But, uh, <laughs> if you know me or follow the podcast at all you know that it's tough for me to not be able to play due to injury because much of the last three years has been spent missing tournaments because of injuries I did feel the calf pop but kind of hoping for a miracle that I can wake up tomorrow and be able to play the physio did say strapping it up might help guess we'll see you tomorrow This guy's making money. I don't know what the hell this man doing. Well, he's working too. What's what you doing? Uh, mental coaching. He's actually being productive. For himself though. Yeah, yeah, but he's making money for himself. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, where we at? We're in Winston Salem. Staying in the boondocks at the BMV. Don't make it sound like the inside's actually nice. We'll yeah, give you an inside, nice. inside. <laughs> inside tour later. Yeah. How was uh, Louisville? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. Good week for us, I would say. Um, After your your Europe uh, debacle, you had a nice. Hey, we win some matches these days. Give me some. Meet TD, the on-site USTA physio. As soon as my calf popped yesterday, I came to see him. He assessed me and did a bunch of treatments in the hopes I could play today. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Right now, he's filling out the on-site medical withdrawal form, which allows me to pull out of this event and upcoming events without any penalty as long as the injury persists. Fun stuff, huh? Uh, I'm just doing treatments to promote recovery. So I'm basically trying to break up any adhesions, align all the muscle fibers in the same way, increase blood flow to promote recovery because of the recent injury. Is Yesterday, he- I did it dragging the cup over everything to separate the tissue because it was a more acute injury. Here I'm trying to do more the instrument assisted to where I'm using a little more pressure to break up some of the um, adhesions in there to align everything to take some of the pressure off uh, where the injury was because it's very dense and tight. Okay. So basically he's not strong enough and he needs to get into gym more. No. <laughs> <laughs> bound up in knots in the muscles, it puts more strain on different areas of the muscle and the more adhesions, and if you're really strong and muscular, you get more adhesions to where it puts more pressure and you're just overworking a certain area, and that's when you get the strain. So I'm hearing that I'm too strong. You keeping up with that? I should have signed onside today. Just another note, you guys probably are pretty good about it, but if you ever get the uh, withdrawal form, yeah. come see the physio right away. Yeah. Don't wait an hour. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just 
<laughs> about protocols. Push into me gently like you are, and don't push me over. Yeah. A little bit less, a little bit less, a little bit less. Just show Exactly. Yeah, all those hairs gone. All. You're okay, stick you up. Cause now you're gonna look like a dummy walking around <laughs> outside. <laughs> if you put a name to what happened to my calf, what would you say? Calf strain. Calf strain. And what's the purpose of the the wrapping the tape and right now? Give it more compression and basically assisting to offload the muscle to give it um, to where it doesn't have to work as much to where it can recover. Another big thing I would highly recommend in general, a compression sleeve or compression leggings like the long yeah. ones, not super, super tight, but not loose, sleep in them. Because they're really good as well. Yep. yep. What about if he plays in high socks? You think he should play in high socks? That's a personal question. <laughs> I believe you asked on the podcast a couple weeks ago if, how bad do I want it? Would I play in high socks? If I went with my comfort, I would, I would consider it. That's actually kind of odd. I mean, I'm not going to do anything to make it worse. <laughs> I should have played. <laughs> no, no, I No holes. stand. I got holes all over me. Isn't that part of an octopus? You got what? An octopus. <laughs> no, pardon me. <laughs> and are you injured, Jody, or is this is just uh, no, the just... maintenance? Preventative. Even though the pain I felt yesterday in treatment might have been the worst I've ever felt in the treatment in my life. <laughs> Where do you feel today? Yeah, it's been. It worked. Yeah. I mean, the spot still feels sore, obviously. But that's not sore or tender? This guy's spinning. No, not the best vocabulary, this guy. You have to, <laughs> you have to explain a different thing. Stop distracting me. I'm supposed to be relaxed. Just, you know. He stresses me. I'll just say the contact of the spots of the coffin on the skin is so, but the actual area itself is not. Uh, so tender. Alright, bro. Okay. I'm gonna get you a, a Webster's dictionary. I'm ignoring you now because I'm focusing on my treatment. But you got a van popping on the side of your head right now, boy. <laughs> Yesterday, what did you say? That last week, your your arm was so loose that you started to serve worse? No, no, no. Don't misquote me. Explain. Okay. So imagine this. Imagine you're tight, right? Uh-huh. For like a few days, a few weeks, right? So I'm serving a bunch of reps when I'm a little tight. Mm -hmm. Then I go and I see a physio. <laughs> so I go and see a video. Uh -huh. uh, Let it out. It hurts. <laughs> right, I go and see a video, right? Uh -huh. And I do work. And because of that, I feel like my mobility has increased in the session dramatically. Mm -hmm. dramatically. What? Dramatically. Okay. And then I go and serve. And now I feel like the range of motion is a big increase to what it was before. Uh -huh. So now the rhythm is different. So now I'm trying okay. to rotate the same, but I'm rotating more. Uh -huh. Or also, I feel like it's not as sharp with the movement. Now like you had, a, you had a small hula hoop, and now it's a big hula hoop. You got to make bigger circles. You know what I mean? All right, then. You know yeah. <laughs> so then I said, all right, I'm not seeing the physio anymore until the end of the week. Okay. I don't want you to go out there straight from this and start hitting. That's what I was planning on going. <laughs> Like when actually a relief to be at the tournament and just be able to go into the physio yeah. and do treatment every day. Yeah. Florida this treatment, but third minutes and always look. It's a lot of money. Yeah, it's gonna break the bank. And here you can see the guy like twice a day if you need to, sometimes if they're helpful, you know? Yeah. If you're not scared of the pain. I'm not scared of the pain. Yeah, just as you get it. I mean, I'm not pissing about it. You can film us too. If we don't get him on the podcast this week, I quit. <laughs>
what's the difference between both sides of the socks you ask? Well, due to the fact that I'm not sponsored by the Nike. This company, you know, and, and this is how we show people that we are unaffiliated. Just cover her up right there, just like that. And all of a sudden, my socks look like Tolos, which were also not sponsored by. Feel free to reach out to us. <laughs> There are two kinds of athletes. One who has a yoga mat, and you're the other guy who's gonna put sunscreen on and do a couple of arm swings, and, <laughs> and, and, and he's good to go. I'm good right now. <laughs> this man has still not jogged, stretched. No, it's, 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 yeah, what? It's, um, uh, it's a beautiful day, man. It's a beautiful day to withdraw, withdraw from a tournament. <laughs> 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 These guys are fresh off of an eight hour drive yesterday from Louisville and they won't play at least until tomorrow, maybe even Wednesday. So the goal today is just to feel the ball, get used to the conditions and have fun moving the body. Because there are better things for your body than sitting in the car for eight hours. Three keys to a good forehand. Go. This is one. Trigger? Yeah. Loose wrist. Uh huh. Contact point or like, like preparation. Like you don't want to be in the ball too early. You want to be at the ball too early. You want to like move through the ball. Through the hips. So it has, has to flow. You know what I mean? I understand. Through the hips. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Too heavy. Too heavy. You want three keys? Mm hmm. Two good backhands? If we go outside. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Out. Through the hitting zone. Through, through. Oh, no? I don't know. We have that on camera. It definitely is on camera. Is Evans a cheater or not? Three keys to a to a clean backhand. Three keys. Yeah. Don't pull out with your body too early. Okay. I don't want to say like body weight stuff. Body weight through the ball, I guess. Uh, third one. Shoot, I don't know. Trust it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> This is the positivity segment, self-esteem, self-love. I want you to tell me one thing you did well, one thing you didn't do so well, and then another thing you did well last week. One thing I did well was I kept good perspective. I had a lot of gratitude for the things that go my way that you don't think about, like being healthy. So that's in my thing a lot. Sorry about that, Justin, by the way. Uh, so you've been journaling or what? I've been journaling every day. Yes. That's nice. What I didn't do as well, it's hard to balance doing fitness during the week, mm -hmm. but like the day the tournament, the day I got to the tournament, I did fitness. So, so what about like daily mobility? Have you were you I on it? Every day. Okay. So we end on that. We end on my discipline. Good stuff, man. Hey. My perspective. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was working hard on my mental game. I think. What does that mean? More about it. All right. <laughs> so that's something I think that makes a big difference in my game. I could be even better, but I think I did better than I've been doing. Two weeks before, okay. Mm -hmm. so I guess that's what I can also improve on. So you, else. the mentality? Yeah, I would also like to serve better. Okay. But that's also not in your control, a process. Is it? Yeah. And one more, one more positive thing, man. One more good thing. Yeah. Let me ask you. Try to. You built some psychological momentum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I think That's I, all we're doing here. Even after a loss in singles or something, I think try to learn from it instead of feeling like, oh, I'm not playing how I want to. Or I'm not where I mm -hmm. want to be. So perspective as well. Yeah. Put it there. This guy's such a cheat that just copies all my ass. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point of this drill? Just to work on the, the doubles. It's like if I get into a cross court rather than I get the short ball. Yeah. I think sometimes I 
tend to break the rally. Let me go out the net first then. But I don't have an actual sitter. So okay. maybe I just keep the lead in the rally. Yeah. And come in on my turns and then make them try to do something. So removing options, making it more simple for yourself and yeah, yeah. high percentage. Unless, unless I have this like a sitter where I can like hurt net person. Yeah. Just go like control heavy forehand. The and then try to control the net. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! Well, I just had to like shit to get not seeing any of that footage. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Just got back from practice. This is the Airbnb. Let's see if anyone's home. Oh, what's up, fellas? Welcome to my crib. <laughs> <laughs> this is our private studio where we'll be recording on Instagram, our uh, YouTube live today. I have it clean, so don't judge me. Uh, got the Nomatech boots on the ground. Got my little setup here. Didn't make my bed this morning. I was in a not great mood. Also not clean. So easy living. Also got the boots in the bag. Didn't use them. Unprofessional. Also. I'll use them tonight. Don't worry. <laughs> bed also not made. Stealing balls from the tournament. Yeah. We like that. <laughs> this is from Armatos. And as you can tell, we're men of class. So we got art paintings on the wall. I'm so saying. Follow me to the kitchen. Follow me to the kitchen. <laughs> so we're in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is where Evan chef. So hey, if you need a pro string on. Feel free to hit up ProString, $100 off. Use code CHANGEOVER when checking out. This is where Evan took an hour to make breakfast this morning. He made our bacon separately. He made three bacons, then he made three more bacons. No, 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 I made three of them five. Anyway, three more. Ridiculous. horrible, horrible. Kitchen table, messy, Be obviously. Grateful. See this game right here, connect four? Anyone challenge me, Evan? Lost 7-1 yesterday two. in games. Two. He, got, he got two, he got two, he got two. Okay, 7-2, same shit. All right, hey. Now look at this. This is how a clean person keeps their room. Clean. This, this is the master bed? Yeah, clean. Look. Oh. Made journal, you know? Laptop. Was doing... The five minute journal. Shout out to Clement Chedek. Hey, you want another quote of the day? Somebody. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Life is about not knowing, having to change, taking the moment, and making the best of it without knowing what's going to happen next. Unreal. Remember that. That's where we will absolutely spend zero time because outside has mosquitoes. And it's cold. No and why does the guy show up? Yeah, real. <laughs> real. Like the cupping I did with him, where we drag over it. Yeah. That's kind of crazy, no? Cupping. Supposed to make you feel better, he's hurting you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it for the crib. Hey, now you have to get out. Fuck out of here. You're supposed to walk out with them, man. Oh, me. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a rough trip for me so far. Came here with the hopes of continuing some good form after the PTT. And the hardest thing for me with all this stuff is just the starting and stopping. It's having to tell my parents, like, hurt again. Tell my coach, hurt again. I feel like, um, I don't want to say necessarily letting people down, but it's, it almost feels like I'm annoying. I'm a bit, like a bit of a burden that is always, is always something. And I don't like, I don't like that feeling at all. Been playing really well, so I feel like I'm ready to come out here and continue doing that and hopefully do some damage. But if the body's not allowing me to do that, I can't. I can't really play. So for the rest of the week, we're gonna try to record some stuff. I might stay one or two more days. Just gonna try to stay positive, do all the rehab I can do, and get back on the match court as soon as possible. I hope it's only gonna be one to two weeks of recovery. It feels similar to what happened to my, my hamstring the last time, and that was only about 10, 10 to 14 days of, of recovery. It's just the way life goes sometimes. I don't know what lesson God trying to teach me with all this, but um, yeah, just trying to stay patient and, and stay positive. <laughs>